Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard episode 70 with me, Cool Guy, and you, the awesome viewers. In the last episode, I proed both my Brock Lesnar and not my Chris Jericho actually, that is true, I didn't actually do my Chris Jericho, but um, as I told you guys, I would put him in uh, RTG, I did, a team RTG, and that means that Bray Wyatt is now completely done. God, I love putting cards in Team RTG. I he was literally on one or two games each on on both cards, and now he's completely done, fully tokened, fully leveled, um, which is great. And we can uh, we can finally pro him. So yeah, I'm so close to being done. Rare White is a new addition to the Ultimate uh, Pro Team. I've got Braun Strowman, Chris Jericho, and Enzo Mori, I suppose, left. To do, um, Braun Strowman is about halfway done there, and uh, just about halfway done. Not not exactly. No, he's just under halfway on both of his cards. Chris Jericho, as you guys know, has got two more speed. I haven't done anything on Chris since you guys last saw. Maybe maybe one or two games, but 13 games in speed to play there, and two games in speed to play there. So. Bray Wyatt, another card that is done. That is absolutely fantastic. He is going to go ahead and join all my uh, all my ultimate pros now. Uh, Brock Lesnar is now level 50 uh, because of King of the Ring. This is how I tokened him. Not bad, not bad. There he is. Who else? Seth Rollins, you guys know, is in here as well. That's what I did on Seth Rollins. Finn Balor is now there as well because of, obviously I put him in King of the Ring. Um, and yeah, look at all of these. Uh, yeah, Jay Uso. I uh, sorry, Jimmy Uso I've still got, even though he's not being really uh, useful in anything. He might still get his a spot in RTG. We'll see. But by then, I might have just uh, used him up or something. I've got rid of my uh, elite uh, pros, my Kevin Owens, uh, my Randy Orton. I think it was. I've only got Naomi and Samoa Joe left, and Daniel Bryan and Triple H as the two throwbacks. So these are oh, these are all the elite pros I've got left, almost running out. Uh, there is Bray Wyatt. There he is. Not bad. This is a good mid card. It's a good good card actually. So I'm really happy with that. And then Kevin Owens, uh, sorry, Chris Jericho is going to be. Uh, he's the same as Finn Balor. So that's actually going to be a really good card. Perfect. Let me show you guys my King of the Ring. I'm not doing too well in it. I'm 10 and 10, but I'm thank God I'm still I'm still in it. Just about. I don't know how I don't know how come I'm doing so bad. But what is a relief is I'm not the only one doing so bad. Um, even up to number four, uh, Pletty is doing really bad. So there's only four people who are actually doing decent, and Spank isn't even doing that well, and Anderson honestly isn't even doing that well. I think David will be, uh, for some reason, I think David just must have the best deck. Let me have a look at when that came up against. Let's have a look at Spank real quick. Um, I was completely unenergized. I would have beat him, obviously. Um, if he was completely energized, then I was completely energized. I would have lost that. Pro yeah, Charisma, I would have lost that. I would have definitely won that. I would have obviously lost that. It would have been 50 50 here, and he would have won that. So, yeah. So, he's definitely got okay. And David, David, David. I would have won that. No, I mean, sorry, I forgot. I I, uh, I, I, I chucked my Diva tag. So, yeah, he wins that. Depends to be honest. If it, if it, if it calls, if it's, if it's, if it's speed and only speed, I could win it. And if I have a little proc here and there, 50 50. 50-50, and then uh, he probably will win most of the time, but I, about 25%, 75%. So yeah, he's definitely got the better deck, but I can beat him. Um, Pletty's up next, which is an important game. I did just re-energize, so we're good now. Uh, it's an important game to win, very important game to win, so let's hopefully see if we can pick up a win there. But apart from that, guys, it is Team Ra I was going to say Ring Domination, it's Team RTG. Uh, here we go. This is how my team has done so far. Uh, very decent. Ten hours left. No problem in getting the ultimate card. Um, big shout out to everybody. Abdul Rahman. Shout out to you, man. Rainbow Warrior, of course, doing very well. GTA. Jerry. CCM8. Vanit. Uh, Meta Evolution. John Britton. Myself. And Robe. So, yeah. Lots of people did really well on, the kit, on, on it so far. My time to pick up the slack a little bit. I went to bed really early last night, as you guys know, if you saw the first 15 minutes of my live stream on YouTube. I was so exhausted after those, just those 15 minutes, I went to bed. It was 12 o'clock, midnight. I've never gone to bed that early in like the last five or six months, but I finally got to bed at an early time. I got a really good night's sleep, and I'm up 
a decent time. It's like two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon now. So, yeah. But let's get into some into some gameplay, guys. A smart TG. I added about yeah a couple couple title matches. That's what I want to try and aim for every RTG. I buy 600 credits worth of title matches, and then I play through that. That's 600 credits per event. I think I think 600 credits per team event is okay. So I have to pick up the slack here. Now we're still coming up against cards that are are still manageable. I'm very happy of get about getting Bray Wyatt completely done during this. If I'd have been actually up and awake, I probably could have got like maybe four cards done. Um, I could have chucked in the Chris Jericho's, and that would have he would have been done as well. But it's all right. I don't have to play too much with Chris Jericho. Just speed here and there, and then we're done. And then we focus on Braun Strowman, one Enzo More card, and then we'll see um, we'll see our RTG deck and how it looks if we if we do Cesaro or not. Um, because I've got uh, Darren Young in there, but I'm not sure if, if Darren Young gets replaced already or not. So we'll have to see. But for the next RTG, we're going to be absolutely great. Plus 10 all the way. RTG's coming up in a, in a couple days, of course. Probably by, by, by the end of tomorrow. Excuse me, guys. By the end of tomorrow, the preview will be up or something. Uh, I wonder who the ultimate card is going to be. Obviously, the event card is Randy Orton. And then I'm guessing the next event card is going to be a Bray Wyatt. That's who I think it should be. Um, yeah, I think it should be a Bray Wyatt. Okay, there's an Ultimate Miz in there who's not fully leveled up. So do I do I dare do I dare put in um, in one of my cards to get trained up a little bit or not? Or is it just too late in the RTG to do that? I don't know. We'll have a look. Whatever. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. So, Monday Night Raw, guys, was last night. As you guys know, we do like a little Monday Night Raw review. But you guys may be saying, oh, but wait, you went to bed so early. How do you watch Raw? Well, I didn't watch Raw. I, only, I watched the highlights. I, actually, I, I genuinely watched the highlights of Raw. So, I apologize for things that I'm not aware of. But, um, Kofi Kingston versus Bo Dallas. Didn't watch that. Um, Emelina! What? I know, right? Emelina finally made her debut, and I'm still alive to see it. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. But yeah, so it was really weird. She comes out, she says, you got you for the last something weeks, you got to see me transform into Emma to Emelina, and now you'll see me go to, from Emelina back to Emma or something, and then she just left. Uh, didn't really understand it. Is she going back to Emma now? Are we, gonna see, are we ever going to see her again? I don't know. But at least she was there. She gave a 25 second promo and left. But at least she made it to Raw. <laughs> it's better than nothing. So, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Sami Zayn versus um, Rusev. And it was Samoa Joe attacking Zayn after the match on the ramp. Rear naked choke. Chokes him out. Very nice. All good. Loving Samoa Joe right now. That's awesome. Gilberg. Gilberg returned. I mean, what? I can't believe Gilberg returned. That is absolutely hilarious. Um, yeah, fantastic. Actually, someone posted uh, a picture of Gilberg yesterday night before Raw of Gilberg in in a hotel room. I'm, I'm thinking like in the Discord chat, put a picture of it, which is pretty funny. Um, they must have leaked the Gilberg return. So yeah. Now, there's actually a lot of shit that happened on this Monday Night Raw. A lot of shit. I'm not sure if it was a good episode, but a lot of shit happened. Uh, Bailey won won the Diva, the women's championship on Raw, obviously, because you know Charlotte doesn't lose on pay per views. What I don't understand, what I really do not understand is um, what this, what what is it, what what this is so stupid. The fact that Charlotte will lose on Raw like every title match she does, she has, and then she'll just win on pay per views. It's just really weird. It's you know Charlotte and and um, Sasha Banks. They did it like five, four or five times. I give you the bout, you give it to me back. I'll give it to you on Raw. You give it to me on a pay per view. I hope they don't do the same thing with Bailey. I hope I hope it's not the same boring thing back and forth. But we'll see. Um, and the biggest thing to happen on Raw, obviously, is Kevin Owens turning on Chris Jericho. Now. I wasn't actually looking. I wasn't. I wasn't um, expecting it to be fair this this soon. I thought at least um, until uh, after Fastlane, like before the week before Fastlane or after Fastlane, which would be next week or all yet. Yeah, but what I thought, I didn't, wasn't expecting it to be this week. Um, they were all dressed up hilariously, obviously, like you know, because they're at Las Vegas. That's where Raw was, and yeah. Uh, Kevin Owens gets him like a Valentine's gift or just a present and he opens it's a new list but Chris Jericho what he doesn't know is behind the list it says the list of KO not the list of Jericho and on the list 
Um, Jericho says, well, why is my name on it? And then, boom, out of nowhere, Kevin, well, no, it wasn't really out of nowhere. People obviously saw it coming. I think so did Chris Jericho when he was like, why is my name on it? But, um, yeah, got attacked. And, uh, and, yeah, that was it. That was that was Monday Night Raw, pretty much. Um, I didn't watch it, as I said. Not sure if it was good. It looked like a lot of good things happened on it for the first time in months that I actually don't watch it live, which is a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. Don't really matter. And uh, yeah, it was. It looks, you know, it looks like a good raw. I'll definitely go and watch it back, or just watch more of the highlights. We'll see. Anyway, we're almost done getting Kalisto. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. We've just got Kalisto. Perfect. So that's a hard and card I've never got, by the way. Never got. Great. So yeah, gonna have to play a lot of games here. Obviously, Whoa, how many games do I have to play? I think seventy, right? Seventy games. That's it. No, yeah, seventy games. 70 plus 10, 70 plus 10s, 140 plus 5s, yeah. But there we go, there's Kalisto, pretty cool. Not really, but it's alright. It's it's very meh. Um, alright, Elite, Xavier Woods, which is a pro, and then uh, Ultimate, Ultimate, Shinsuke Nakamura. I must be on, what, 80, 50 points? That's not too good, is it? But let's try and get up to at least 150 to 200 before this event is over. I really hate... Um, Team RTGs, they're just so boring. Because then uh, straight after Team RTG, you've got your own RTG to do, which is even more boring. I don't know, it's, it's awful. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, smash a like on the video. I will be back in a couple days or tomorrow. Well, new episode tomorrow, but I'm not sure if I'll have... Yeah, I'll have my results, I think, tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Do smash a like on the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you, hopefully, tonight for another Supercard live stream. Take care, guys. Bye.